All 3D objects around you have a volume. The sofa you're sitting on, the phone you're holding, and even the hot dog on the plate next to you. But why is this important to you? Well, knowing this for example, you can figure out how much water you need to fill in your pool, or whether or not the gift you bought for your friend can fit in the box you're wrapping. So what is volume? It's the measure of the amount of space inside an object. These could be a cube, cylinder, cone, pyramid, or even a sphere. The volume of anything with straight sides is the error of the base times height. That's why the formula for a cube is length times width times height, or edge times edge times edge, which is edge cubed. Notice the little 3 at the top. That shows that the shape is three-dimensional. The volume for a cylinder is also base times height, but now there's a difference. The base is a circle, so it's not length times width anymore, instead it's pi times radius squared. After the area of the circle is found, it's times by the height, and that's it. To find a cone's volume, you calculate the area of the base times the height, then divide by 3. Did you recognize the part of the equation that equals the circle's formula, pi times radius squared? This is because the base is once again a circle. You might have noticed that it's almost the same as a cylinder, but the cone is one third of the volume. It's kind of like three cones can fit in a cylinder. So what do you get when you combine a cone and cube's volume formulas? You get the equation for a square pyramid. Pretend three pyramids can fit in one rectangular prism, so you get the equation that looks like this. Length times width times height divided by three. Finally, the sphere. Four thirds times pi times radius cubed. Pi relates to the circle, radius cube relates to the 3D object, and 4 thirds was discovered by mathematicians many years ago. Now go get that A+.